Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so, first things first, massive apologies that this is going up on Friday night rather than Wednesday night. The reason being, today is Thursday and today is the first day that I've had the chance to um, actually record the content for this video. I mean, I know that's probably quite a crap excuse, but me and my partner went away for the weekend and we wanted to spend some time together. I didn't really want to be recording me washing and styling my hair. So yeah, that is my excuse. However, I'll be back to doing Wednesday uploads. So apologies for anybody that was waiting for a video on Wednesday. Um, so this is probably my most requested, and by probably, I mean definitely my most requested video that um, people have been messaging me, asking me to do on Instagram since, since I cut my hair short really, which is about three months ago now. Um, yeah, so I haven't washed my hair in a few days because I don't actually wash my hair every single day because I am actually a hairdresser as well, so I'm not just talking shit. Like, I kind of am talking shit, but it's like educated talking shit. Like, I still kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so I don't wash my hair every day. With a colour like this, I couldn't anyway because the colour would just come out completely. But my hair's pretty gross at this point in time. Yeah, I've got some nice sort of like hat and bed hair going on. Um, one of the things I will say before I actually start to do anything in terms of washing or anything with my hair is half the reason that I get so much lift and volume in my hair is because it's so heavily bleached. Uh, it has a lot of texture to your hair and it kind of just kills your hair which makes it a lot more sort of pliable, like you can do a lot more with it. So if you try this at home and you find yourself getting frustrated because you can't make it look the same or you don't get the volume and the lift in it, half the reason is because my hair's dead. And the other half of the reason is my hair just kind of sticks up and does what it wants. Like, I've got like Play-Doh hair, like I can pretty much just put it where I want it and it will stay there. Not that anybody really wants to walk around looking like that, but the option is there. Um, I think one of the most important thing in terms of styling hair is your products. Do you know what? I don't know why I was going to do a list because it is your products, your shampoo, things like that. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute, but I use um, I use Redken as my shampoo and conditioner. I do normally use a silver shampoo as well, but I left that at work. But um, the one that I use is um, why can't I think of what it's called? Oh, it's called Ble it's by a brand called um, Bleach London. I just use their silver one. I know they've got a smoky one as well, but I haven't personally used it. I just use their silver shampoo. But um, yeah, step one: wash your hair. So, for this part of the video, some of you who are a little bit more clued on, a little bit more um, observant, may notice that my hair is actually now done. Um, so, I went to record this section and apparently didn't actually press the record button, so I'm going to have to put it in after. So, here's a preview as to what we're going to achieve today. However, shampoo and conditioner. So, I think this part is actually quite important. Um, if you're going to buy something that's more expensive in terms of your hair, I would always go for um, something like, well, I would go for a shampoo and a conditioner over spending a lot of money on products. Um, your shampoo and conditioner is what's actually going to protect your hair and, you know, actually do something for it. Whereas a product just to sort of like style your hair, like, you'll see later, but the products that I use aren't overly expensive. However, the shampoo and conditioner I use are probably about £25 for the two, but it's well worth it. I really would can't stress it enough. Um, any of the ones that you buy in Tesco or on the high street are filled with silicone, filled with a load of shit, chemicals, stuff that you do not want to put in your hair. Um, the conditioner will make your hair feel smooth because it like basically suffocates your hair, puts a load of like, yeah, like li literal plastic coating your hair, which is really bad for it. It's worth spending money on basically is the moral to this story. Um, I use Redken, so I use these. The extreme range. Uh, the reason why I use the extreme range in their product is because my hair is really, really damaged. As I said earlier, it's really heavily bleached and it's quite dead. So I try and use something that's just going to sort of restore it a little bit and I genuinely find this works. Um, I do also use the um, Bleach London Silver Shampoo, which I mentioned earlier, but I did forget it and I don't do it every single time I wash my hair. Yeah, I think that's about it in terms of shampoo and conditioner. There are obviously loads of other ones out there, but I do personally think they're the best ones. Um, I also always shampoo my hair twice. The reason being is that uh, I use a lot of product on my hair and the first shampoo lifts all this product from the scalp and from your hair. 
and the second one actually rinses it through your hair and gets rid of it. So if you either use hair product or you don't wash your hair every single day, I would suggest two shampoos um, and also obviously a conditioner. Um, if I had my hair dark, I'd probably use a colour protect, like if I dyed it dark, so I'm gonna dye my hair black soon, um, I'd use a colour protect conditioner maybe every other time and then I probably wouldn't bother. The only reason I use conditioner every time now is because of the colour, because it's so heavily bleached. So depending what colour you, your hair is, maybe condition it, maybe don't. If it's natural, I wouldn't bother condition it if it's this short. Um, yeah, but definitely always two shampoos if you wear product or if you um, don't do it every day. So two shampoo, one conditioner. So, at this stage, obviously, wash my hair nice and clean for once. Since I've had short hair though, I've actually been washing my hair a lot more regularly, so my hair's not gross all the time. Um, yeah, so product. Product is so important. Um, you've obviously got your styling and your finishing products. Styling products are products that go into your hair when it's wet, and finishing products are what you use to finish your hair when it's dry. Um, I use the same things every single time without fail. I pretty much, regardless of the, the hair style I've had, have used a couple of these as a standard sort of product. But um, yeah, no, I'm pretty big on products, but I think with stuff like this, it's not as important to buy expensive. Shampoo and conditioner, 100% would spend a bit of money on, but product wise, you don't necessarily pay for a good quality product. I mean, all of my products that I'm about to show you, bar one, you can buy in on the high street or yeah, like most of it, I actually got in boots, so of all places, you know what I mean? So it's not that hard to find. And if you're not from around here and you want to be able to do this, have a look online. You know, that's a great place. You'll be able to find anything. Now, it took me a while to figure out whether I was going to do a video that was um, showing you how I style my hair neat and how I style my hair messy. However, I settled on neat because the truth is when I wear my hair messy, normally I wake up and I kind of just go and then I leave. I'm quite lucky my bed hair normally looks all right. So I thought I'll show you guys how I style it neat because I feel like it would be a bit snaky if I just showed, like shared a video of me just waking up, shaking my hair and going, that's how I do my hair. Cause how's that gonna fucking help you? So most important product that I use, I love this stuff. It's by Ruzel. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but I call it Ruzel, uh, grooming tonic. There's two. There's a blue one and an orange one. Yeah, the blue one looks better. This kind of looks like a urine infection. However, the blue one's crap. It doesn't really do anything. But this one is really, really good. So it's a bit like a hair mousse, but um, it's obviously liquid instead of like a foam or whatever the mousse is going to be, like moussey. Um, yeah, it's a lot better. I way prefer it to any kind of mousse. It doesn't leave your hair sticky, but it gives you a lot more volume and texture and how I wear my hair, volume and texture, most important things. So I use a bit like, you can't really see that, but I use like the equivalent of like a 50p piece sort of size. I rub it all through my hair, concentrating mostly on the roots. I rubbed it into my hands first as well. I don't know if you saw that, because if you just go like that, you're just gonna put a big splodge of it at the front. But yeah, so if you don't wanna go and buy that, because it's about 15 quid a bottle, then you can use a mousse, but I think this is way better and I'm an Aries, so I'm right. So next is um, dry my hair. I don't do anything fancy. I don't use a brush. I tell my clients to use a brush, but I don't use a brush. I'll literally, well, you'll see in a minute, but I literally don't even use a nozzle. I just hold the hair dryer and blow my hair in the direction that my hair's going to sit. If you don't do that and you just dry it, your hair's gonna dry it in the position that you dry it into, if that makes sense. So if you're gonna dry it forward and then try and style your hair back, you're stupid, it's not gonna work. Um, yeah, so just dry your hair in the position that you want it to sit. I'm going for back and across and back and across. So the way that I've just run my fingers is exactly how I'm gonna try and style my hair. So I'm literally just gonna hold the hair dryer and run my fingers through it where I want it to sit. <laughs> So that'll 
all day, nice and dry. Yeah, nice and dry. So next thing that I put in my hair is I use um, hair powder. Now, if you haven't used hair powder before, it's like a drying, obviously it's a powder because it's called hair powder. So it's like a drying powder. And basically you put it in your hair and it mattifies it, texturizes it, and gives you a real nice fullness. Um, so it comes out, it is literally just a white powder, but I normally like sprinkle it in directly into my hair, try and get it more on the roots. Because if you put it on your hands, it kind of just goes into your skin and it's kind of useless. So when you do it, make sure that you're putting it directly into your hair. So literally just shake it into your hair. I like to go OTT with hair products. I use quite a lot. It is literally a case of just giving it, like, rubbing it in, making sure it's nice and in there. Do you see what I mean, though, in terms of drying your hair? Once you've dried it into place, it's a lot easier because then it's just sort of making it stay there. Um, depending whether I'm wearing my hair neat or messy depends on the next thing I use. I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. I'm not using it today because I'm wearing my hair messier. But um, I've only just got it. It's this. It says for men on it, but fuck it. I'm going to use it anyway. What are you going to do? So, yeah, that's also a... Um, for all of those of you that are asking me whether I'm a boy or girl, it's probably the only time that I'm going to clarify I am a girl. Um, yeah, it's called Tough Spray. They spell it T-U-F-F, -F, I guess because it's maybe edgy, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty good for texturising. It's like a sea salt spray, but um, it's probably one of the only ones I've actually used that I quite like. So yeah, give that a go if you want to wear your hair messier in this kind of style, I guess. Uh, next. So I only like matte product. I wouldn't use anything that's wet look, shine, anything like that. Don't like it. We're not in the 90s. Don't do it. Don't wear wet look. It's not a thing. Uh, matte. The more matte, the better. I use this one. Matte wax by Fudge. So that's the tin. So you can find it nice and easily. You can actually buy it in Tesco. You can buy it in Boots. Or you can go online if you want to. But um, yeah, so I use this. I mean, I've had this for about three months. And that's all I've used of it. So... You know, it does last you quite a while, and I think it's about six quid, seven quid maybe, so it's not overly expensive either. Um, I use about this much. I don't know if that's actually very helpful or not. But imagine like a P. I use about a P to start with and kind of see where I'm at. Let's see if I can actually see my hair and the thing, because you guys are going to be my mirror. So I literally will rub it in, try and rub it into the roots all over your hair. And again, just bringing it back in the direction that you want it to sit in. Now, if you're finding that your hair isn't going like this, in all honesty, your hair has got a memory. So the more you do this, the better your hair's gonna sit. I've got a little part in there, so let's see if I can get that to part again. See, look, this piece of hair, I've dried up when I should have dried it down. So that's kind of like showing you what happens when you and if you've got any bits like that, I just stopped mid-sentence and thought I'd finished it. But so, yeah, that just shows you if you don't dry your hair in the right position, it will just stick up in all the wrong ways. So that's really important. Um, yeah, if you do get any bits like that, use a bit of extra product. It will be fine. In terms of the back as well, because obviously not many people have got those fancy three-way mirrors. I don't. Um, it's more a case of feeling it. What I normally find is I put too much product at the front and not enough in the back. So then what I'll do is I'll get like a tiny bit more again, just make it on my fingertips. And I'll just literally just rub that into the back. Now, I don't know how well I've done it because I always check it in a mirror afterwards by holding one mirror in front of me and having like a mirror behind me. But um, in terms of the back, I always try and make it kind of go into a point because I cut my hair into a point because that's what I like. Um, I cut my own hair myself. I might do... Um, I did a video, and uh, in the video was me cutting all my own hair off. I don't know if you guys watched it. If you haven't, click on my channel and go have a look at it. Um, but what I might do is me actually just giving myself a general haircut. I mean, I do the whole thing myself, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys would want to watch. Um, but yeah, back to this video. Um, once I've kind of got it in place and I'm quite happy with it, then it is literally just a case of finishing it with a hairspray. Now I went for a fudge trio because I quite like the products. I use this hairspray. The only thing I would say about it is um, it like sometimes like doesn't come out in a straight line. So 
if it's getting all like build up -y on the end of like the little bit where it comes out of scrape that off before you spray it because i've done it plenty of times where i've gone to spray it and just sprayed myself in the face and um i've got quite sensitive skin so it makes me break out so i end up with like a big line of spots on my forehead because of my hairspray so just be a bit aware of that um yeah so i'm just gonna give it a spray and then i'm gonna check it in the bathroom with one of these bad boys so i always like to check the back because obviously the last thing you want to do is make your hair look good from one view and not the other so the most important bit for me is having that parallel like my hair parallel to the bit that i've shaved as well which i think needs to go a bit shorter actually it's a bit too contrasted now um yeah so i'm just making sure it's in like a nice line all the way around you can just do that with your fingers i might make sure my little long point is with my little long point of hair at the back there yeah and then that is pretty much what my hair looks like all round so this is like the finishing product and it's pretty pretty firm in place if you like a bit more hairspray you want it to be pretty solid add a bit more hairspray but that pretty much sums up this hair tutorial so make sure you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to see from me next time or in the future. And yeah, definitely let me know if you want to see me actually give myself a full haircut. But yeah, see you guys next time. See you next Wednesday. Promise.